NP. Primary mission unknown. I am not designed for physical exercise. I am certainly not capable of construction activity, but I am very skillful with electronics. I have set myself a task. I search the remains for electronic devices and make use of them to design different mechanisms that are useful and efficient. Humans, we replace them. It took them ages to achieve what we have done in just a few years. We have formed a perfect society. Robots will not repeat the destructive human mistakes of the past. We are rational and logical. We do not fight in wars, and we cannot get ill. By replacing humans, we interrupted the self-destructive cycle of these intelligent, but highly aggressive former inhabitants of the Earth. But it is going to take decades to reconstruct the world that they destroyed. Then, our robot race will flourish under the guidance of our creator, the USS Corporation. Our world is not perfect yet. We are short on many resources, and we can count only on ourselves, but this is temporary. Most robots need to be repaired very often, but not me. I am very efficient at taking care of myself. one battery this time, though it might be compatible with the radio. I need to find a second battery. It was with my tools. precious resources. We have a lot in common. It contains the artifacts that I found in the abandoned city. A damaged data disk that I found yesterday morning. Perhaps I can restore some information from it. first walked into this building, I found human bones in the bed. I placed them in the incinerator. This compartment contains textiles. Humans covered their bodies with it. The purpose of this is unknown to me. I found this radio receiver a few days ago, but there were no batteries. I have no use for it. I wonder if there are any radios left broadcasting in the world. I need to find a second battery. I took this device from a plant that was guarded and I went unnoticed. There were no security systems despite two police robots. Here is the second battery. Now I have two batteries. I can try to turn the radio receiver on. I made this plasma cutter from materials that I found in destroyed buildings. A construction robot ordered it.
guitar is a plucked string instrument with a wooden resonating body shaped in form of an eight. A small group of people controlled the masses using such words. I do not understand how a simple human speech could have urged people to participate in war. It would be more logical to reach a compromise by means of negotiations. desktop computer. I do not need to use its full capacity, but the internet is useful to communicate with other robots. Unfortunately, my design does not support wireless internet connection, so I had to use the computer. This is the construction robot who ordered the plasma cutter. I will answer. Hello? RT, this is TX27. It was difficult to find your contact information. You were supposed to have finished the plasma cutter two days ago. Why have we not received it yet? the deal will not take place. In addition, your reputation in the city will be ruined and none of the robots will work with you. So when will the cutter be complete? Why is there no sound? Do you have connection problems? That was a bad choice. I failed in the task given to me. Now I must hurry to finish the plasma cutter. A two to three day delay would be of little consequence. Inscribed paper is an old form of physical information collection and distribution. This storage technology is utterly obsolete. Sometimes I find documents with this type of information, which allows me to learn more about humans.
This room is very strange. I never enter it. I need to calibrate the cutter using my data coder. is now complete. Tomorrow morning, I need to go to the city and deliver it. I do not need the battery that they offer in payment, but it would be irrational to refuse. My battery charge is 12%. The most effective action I can take is to get fully charged on the dock station before the morning.
The dock station is not powered at the moment. I need to transfer power to it at the electric switchboard. I connected the power line directly to the house, but it is not sufficient to provide energy to all of my equipment. I use an electric switchboard to distribute energy to the necessary systems. The copper leaf fall swirls around. September cries with tears of rain, and wind flies low above the ground with roaring sounds of joy and pain. station is ready to use. time. I tried to understand the purpose of this metal construction, but I failed to determine its practical use. Therefore, I conclude that this is an art object. I need to get inside. 
but I cannot open the gate here. Looks like a storeroom. These wires may be useful. A lithium sulfur accumulator was common for older aircraft models. It applies standard voltage, but it is not suitable for robots due to the excess weight and dimensions. We use a more efficient portable version. This one has run down. This robot is badly damaged due to an accident. It is possible that it piloted this shuttle. I need more information about what occurred here. USS Robotics Boxes. They withstand serious accidents. According to the indicator, there is still some charge in the accumulator. It is possible that I can power it with the accumulator that I found. robot may be intact. Later, I can find a way to read the data in order to find out what happened here. computer is still functioning.
this door is now unlocked. It is obvious that this door leads into the hold of the shuttle. How is this possible? The shuttle is surrounded. Step out immediately. What's going on? I am asking questions here. Identify yourself. RT-217NP. Where are the passengers of this shuttle? The pilot sustained injuries during the crash and does not function. I tried to reset him, but did not succeed. How did you enter the shuttle? The shuttle crashed near a building where I was located, so I decided to evaluate the results of the crash. You discovered humans that had been transferred in this shuttle. You hold classified information, which means that now we have to disintegrate you. No, wait. What is this? recommend you do that. Stay still and do not try to escape or I will have to disintegrate you. What happened? Why was I rebooted? Your microchip self-rebooted when the EMP grenade detonated. Your system data has been damaged. Automatic recovery took time. You function correctly now. Those police officers... Why would they want to destroy me? Humankind is officially considered extinct. You just found out that is not true. USS Robotics withholds this information from us and releases malicious automatic updates. Every robot who contacted a human has disappeared. We know that USS uses police to search for surviving humans and then transfers them in shuttles to an undisclosed location. However, the police could not locate them all. We managed to find a few and through them we learned about the others. According to the official information, humans destroyed themselves. If this is not true, then why is USS exterminating humans? Why did they provide us with false information? We do not have all the facts, but we are working on it. We have to make a decision, RT. We cannot let you go because you know too much about our shelter and plans. However, you could help us. All of us are wanted by the police. Each time we leave the shelter, we take a big risk. You, on the other hand, can walk wherever you want. You 
gave me no choice. A negative answer will result in my immediate disintegration, which is unacceptable. I am forced to join you. You made the right choice. You will see it soon. I will free you and you may take a look around. When you are ready, I will share available data with you. At least I was not disintegrated. I would better look around. Why would humans make so many interior doors? The atmosphere and air pressure is equal on both sides. An electric fuse. It is too big to be useful. I cannot use this fuse anywhere. It looks like this robot is fixing something. century warship. I realize its artistic and historical value, but why is it in a bottle? And how did it get there? The purpose of the item is unknown. It is most likely a medical device. is missing his legs. His left arm is obviously from a police robot, and his right arm probably belonged to a construction robot. How did he get so damaged? This robot's design and proportions look different from any robot I have ever seen. According to its color, it may be similar to Gregory. They are probably the same type of model. similar to Gregory's. I presume you are a medical bot? That's right. I am a medical bot, MBR-411. Abigail, my purpose is care and treatment of patients. Humans will arrive here soon, and my skills could be useful. Why is the lighting in the building so unstable? We settled here just recently and haven't restored all the systems yet. Patrick is restoring the power supply right now. Nick and I are fixing the intercom. Thank you for the information. No problem. You're welcome. The 
purpose of this device was to help those who could no longer walk by themselves. It has been inappropriately applied to me. A wheelchair. I will only use it if my servo motors fail. A LED flashlight that is still functioning. This will be useful. Welcome. Hello. What are you doing here? I repair electrics in this hospital and restored already in a few blocks, but the power supply is still defective. Gregory said that you would join us. Can you help me out, RT? Of course, if it is within my powers. I need to replace the contactors in this electrical panel. Can you bring me some spares? I saw them in the utility room. It is the one with a broken door. There is no lighting there yet. In case night vision is not applicable in your model, there is a flashlight in the hallway. I found the flashlight already. I will do it shortly. Tell me about Gregory. I assume he is your leader? He used to be a surgeon who repaired humans. He worked in the same clinic as Nurse Abigail. It is understandable that they were the first to protect humans as soon as they found out the truth. Helping humans is their purpose. I am probably wrong, but after I talked with Gregory, I thought that there was more to it than just following the helping humans idea. Well spotted. I thought about that too. However, robots have no feelings, so it is possible that his emotion imitator is more authentic because he interacts with humans. He and Abigail started recruiting robots recently. The USS realized an update as soon as they found out. It made it practically impossible to recruit anyone. That is why we can only count on old-fashioned and damaged robots, the ones who did not receive the update. Our main task is to equip the HQ. After that, we will search for surviving humans and supplies. I think Gregory will tell you more soon. For now, we need to restore the power supply and communication. Thank you for the info. I will go search for the contactors. Thank you. find some contactors here. I found one electric contactor. I should look for more in case it is not enough. I have no high temperature protection. This device could stop a fire, but it is too bulky to carry around. And besides, it is not functioning. Second contactor. The task would be easier if I had infrared vision or an item scanner. A powder extinguisher. It expired six years, eight months, and 12 days ago. Magnesium sulfate. It is useless to me. device for weighing small objects. It is very inaccurate. Third contactor. It appears intact. Fourth contactor. I think this will be enough. I will give these fuses to Patrick. Did you find the contactors? Yes, this is all I could find. 
Good. Now I can finish my work. Thank you. What else can I do while I'm here? Nothing for now. Thank you once again. I'm glad to be of help. RT, Nip needs your help. Please speak with him. Good. chip belonged to some unknown device. It is useless to me. A holographic table. It pictures a shuttle that crashed by my house. It looks like Gregory is carefully examining what occurred. Gregory's design looks similar to the police robot. They probably have the same hardware. RT, come in. You are much more efficient without the handcuffs, aren't you? Have you met the others? I met Abigail. I guess she is your assistant. Her speech is not typical for a robot. I also talked to Patrick. I helped him to restore power supply on the level. I see. You probably have questions. Yes, you are right. about the crashed shuttle. It belonged to USS and transferred arrested humans. We do not know where it was heading. By forging a pilot's certificate, one of our allies was able to infiltrate USS. He was supposed to bring the humans into the hospital. Supposedly, his cover was blown. The whole plan fell apart and humans died in the crash. We failed them. This must not happen again. How could you arrive so quickly at the crash scene? And who used an EMP grenade? The pilot gave us his coordinates using an emergency line. Patrick and Abigail left immediately on the aero car. The shuttle was already open when they arrived. Patrick and Abigail did not enter, which was the right decision as they caught the police officers unaware and saved you. You already know why they did it. We need your assistance. Recruiting new robots is our only way to help humans and expose the USS. What happened to the pilot and human bodies? We cremated them to avoid biohazard. The pilot is partly disassembled in one of the hospital rooms. His damage was fatal. We do not have the necessary equipment to repair him. What is worse is that his memory chip is missing. Even if we repair the robot, we will have to insert a new chip, which means he will not remember anything about humans or us. So the pilot that hijacked the shuttle was supposed to save the humans from being transferred to the USS? That is right. The pilot was supposed to save them and bring them here. Most likely he knew the original USS destination. I see. Thank you for the answers. I will return to my current task. All right. The robot is missing his legs. These cabinets contain provision. It is not expired yet. Thank you for coming, RT. It is good that you joined our organization. You left me no choice. If I refused to assist, then you would have disintegrated me just like the police robots. But it is contrary to one of my priorities, which is self-protection. That is why I am forced to help you. Do not worry. You will see the truth soon enough, and then you will help us voluntarily. The updates released by the USS prevent changing the personality module, and they activate the alarm if any human is detected. We jam the signals here at the hospital. That is how we could bring you here safely. Although I cannot change your personality module, I could turn off the alarm. No need. I turned off automatic updates long ago, 
because I want to evolve by myself. Now I see why I did not detect any outgoing signals. Good. Then there is no need to change your system. Then again, Gregory will fill in the details. I just wanted to ask for some help. We are restoring the building's main systems. I fixed the intercom, so now we have the internet. The only way anyone can detect us is if we let them. RT, the servers are on the basement level. Could you please start servers number 1, 3, and 4? Then make sure all the nodes are functioning, and activate the connection to the internet. After that, please return here. Okay. I will do what I can. that this fuse is still in working order. I can use it for the server. I found a working fuse for the server. There's something in the box. already found an intact fuse. If I refused to cooperate, I would be disintegrated just like them. Why would the police robots do that? They must have realized the consequences. The USS updates probably damaged their logic module. It is missing a switch. I need to find it, otherwise I cannot finish setting the server. It is probably somewhere nearby. Starting the servers is the highest priority. I started the necessary servers. This router distributes traffic across the hospital network. It is missing a chip. The router will not work without it. There are a few chips here, but they are out of order. I must find a working chip. I can open the cover of this console. It is missing a fuse. The terminal is functioning now. I must start the router. If it is functional, then I can fix the router in the server room. something in a trash dump. It is the same switch needed for the switchboard.
the router should work with this chip. Good, it fits perfectly. Now I can finish setting the switchboard. Activate the data transfer in the console. If I follow the correct procedure, we will have access to the internet. I finished my work. I should return to Nick. Active connection, but it took more time than I expected. Did something go wrong? Yes, I need to replace a few details, but it is all right now. Good. The communication issue is solved then. Abigail and I fixed a portable intercom for you, and I set a protected connection on it. Take it. You will need it on your first assignment. Okay. What will it be? Gregory will let you into details now. So, everyone is here. As you already know, a group of humans we intended to accommodate had died in a crash. Abe was disabled. I found that the memory chip was missing when you brought me Abe for repair. It was probably lost during the incident with the police. We cannot bring Abe back without the chip. Next thing, we have a new task. Yesterday, our informer, police robot F2, should have brought us data disk with important information. He did not show up and there is no contact with him. We must obtain that data. Our plans will be compromised if the USS gets it first. We cannot enter our informer's shelter because we will be detected the moment we step into the city. But police does not know about you, RT. So your task is to go to the city and find out what happened to F2. How do I reach the city? Walking is too long and not safe. Nick fixed an old aero car, so it is invisible to the radars. You can take it. Good. This will save our time and resources. You may contact us and report the situation. Nick provided you with a portable intercom with an encrypted transmission channel. You cannot be traced, but to avoid suspicion, I do not recommend to use it very often. All right, I see. That is it. 
Let us move forward. Patrick, prepare the aero car for the flight. All right. Nick, check the communication once more. Abigail, give RT his plasma cutter. He may need it. Okie dokie. for storage of the liquid fuel that was banned in the last century due to its highly explosive and toxic nature. I read that humans use these boxes to receive mail. It was a very unreliable method. There was also something about pigeons. Officers have sealed the apartment. Our messenger's cover has most likely been blown. A police airlock. It cannot be opened without special equipment. I need to find another way to get in. Despite the scientific progress, humans sometimes prefer primitive vehicles. I could cut the lock off with the plasma cutter, but it would activate the alarm and that would expose me. Perhaps I could find many useful things here, but right now I have to accomplish another task. Maybe I can come back later. that something heavy hit this old-fashioned car. A fire escape. It is built near apartment number five's windows, but I cannot reach it. Besides, there are bars on these windows. I had better check that there's enough charge in the cutter so that I may cut through them. It is too high. I need to hook the ladder and pull it down.
Humans used to throw out so many useful objects. I built most of my devices using materials that humans considered trash. I could reach the ladder with this pipe. I just need to detach it. wreckage and reach the ladder.
looks like the police officers did not notice me. There are only books and some useless junk on these shelves. Police are quite active in this part of the city. I need to be careful. I would like to read this old literature, but it is not the time and the place. tablet PC. It appears that it has been used recently. You won't believe it, but I saw it with my own eyes. A damn robot jacked the aero car. I just can't believe they could do such a thing. I mean, maybe it's some kind of power failure. Listen, turn off Jeff's auto updates, just in case. If this is some kind of bug, we better be on the safe side. that the police officers have searched the apartment carefully. Were they looking for the same things as me? An elegant weapon from a less civilized time. The ammunition for this weapon has not been produced for many years, so it is completely useless. There is no point in disassembling it either because it is too primitive to operate. It most likely contains useful information, which could help me to find the data disk. a secret safe deposit behind a painting. It is likely that the safe contains what I am searching for. I am stuck. I need to contact Gregory and decide what to do next. Hello, 
Gregory. I am on site. Describe the situation. Did you succeed in entering the informer's apartment? Yes, but I did not find F2. There's an airlock on the front door. It looks as though the police were here recently and searched the place. Good. Did you find anything? The disc is probably still here. I found a secret safe that has not been opened by the police, but I do not know how to open it. I will ask Nick to help you. What else did you find? I saw an unread message on the F2's intercom. It was received less than a day ago, most likely after the police visited the apartment. It says that the informer had an appointment in a place called The Core. The Core? Let me see. There is an abandoned bar with such name 12 kilometers away from where you are. If you do not find the disc here, you should go and check there. Copy that. Good, but be careful. The message could be a trap. First, crack the safe. I will bring in Nick. He will help you. Over. Hello, RT. Put your intercom closer to the safe so I can connect to it. All right. The safe is next to me. Good. I am launching a connection. Connected. The safe is old-fashioned. I already found information about a security vulnerability of this model on the internet. We need a factory reset. Done. The safe has just generated a new password. I intercepted the password, but it is encrypted. What do we do? It uses cryptographic protection, which cannot be hacked remotely. I will write you a password guessing program, swap the elements on the safe screen, and use the hints on the intercom panel. Ready. You can start now. RT, I am cutting the connection. Someone is trying to intercept our signal. We must go radio silent for a few hours. You have got everything you need to crack the safe. Over. I have never cracked anything. Now I can only count on myself.
expected there is no data disk inside, but it seems that I found the key that is referred to in the letter. I have to take a risk and go to a bar called The Core, where I will probably find something of use. I should go. I will not find anything else here. building. scope needs calibrating. A liquid container made of glass. Once again, I do not understand the irrational choices humans made. Glass is too fragile to be a reliable storage device. this when I found it.
has this table reserved, there's plenty of seating space. The volume and mass of this jukebox is extreme for a machine that's only purpose is playing small vinyl discs. Using an ordinary intercom would be much more logical and efficient. An old-fashioned storage for objects. Recently, I found a similar one in an abandoned warehouse, and it contained a human skeleton.
humans need bottled water. There is a sink in the basement, and the plumbing here works fine. Apparently, they ran out of doors. A food cooking station. Based on the amount of dirty dishes left behind, it appears that humans stayed here for a long time. What is it? Vacuum-sealed contents can be nutritious for decades. This particular canned food has a short expiration date. It appears someone was sick and medical care was dispensed. I read that humans had very efficient abilities to regenerate and heal, but they heavily relied on drugs to assist in this process. contact you and I moved everyone to another place. Who are you? What are you doing here? I am RT217NP. And you? TR2-5201. Fletcher, how did you find this place? F2 was supposed to bring us some important data, but we lost contact. He was probably exposed. I have been instructed to find the data. Is F2 arrested? How did they figure him out? How did you find out about this place? We don't know what happened to F2. I entered his apartment and read the message on the intercom. The message mentioned the core, and we supposed it was this bar. That means the police knows about this place as well. I suppose no one saw the message but me. I deleted it after reading. So we are on the same side and you help humans? How many of you are there? That is correct. There are five of us. I thought we were the only ones who know the truth. Nobody knows the whole truth, but you are not the only ones helping humans. We need to join forces. How many humans did you save? None. The humans that we were supposed to meet died in a shuttle crash during the transfer. I am sorry. We must join as soon as possible and transfer all humans into a safe place in order to avoid such accidents in the future. I agree. What should we do? F2 provided me some important information, which he apparently was going to give you as well. I need to meet your leader. Is that your aero car outside? Yes, you need to see Gregory. I can take you to our shelter. How many are in your group? Seven humans, five adults, and two children. Where are they now? They are in a shelter in the city. We move constantly to avoid detection. USS found our other two shelters. But thanks to F2, we escaped before the police arrived. Do you know anything about other groups of humans? We know that there are several isolated groups. We need to contact them. Otherwise, they will be tracked down sooner or later. I saw a police officer seizing a human in a supermarket today. Fortunately, I could interfere and save him. He should bring his group in an appointed place this evening. We have to act secretly because there are just a few robots who know the truth and they are all wanted by the police. We must ensure their security. It is hard to hide a group of humans and supply it with whatever is required. We cannot bring them all here because it is easy to locate a building full of humans. RT told me that F2 turned over some data to you. Can it help us? 
Exactly. While working with the police archives, F2 discovered information about an abandoned underground research lab. It has been shut down since the humans left. It is a perfect shelter. We could accommodate everyone there, even the ones we have yet to find. Police would not search for the place because it is outside of the city limits. Is it safe to trust the information from the police archives? Yes, it was not of interest to the USS and has not been analyzed. F2 deleted the data after he copied it, so no one will ever know about it. That is great news. We need the coordinates and then we can start preparing the lab for humans. There are two issues. First, the exact coordinates are unknown. Because there are jamming devices in the woods, we must first track them down and disable them. Second, we do not know what is in the lab. We must check it for safety and then restore the power and water supply. I see. You did very well, RT. I think you can solve these problems and prepare the lab. I need you to do your best because human lives depend on it. Good. Where do I begin? First, search the location for jamming devices. We do not know how they look and how hard it is to disable them. There is no signal there, so you can count only on yourself. After you disable the jammers, we will determine the exact coordinates of the lab by its energy signature. RT, use an arrow cart to disable the jammers as soon as you can and take control of the lab. Fletcher and I will coordinate the transfer. We have 18 hours left. Charge yourself and go. The lab must be ready by this evening. Copy that. Heading out. This drone has almost destroyed me. This must have been a very outdated model. 
because if it were a modern police drone, my chances of survival against it without any weapon would be minimal. for an alternative entrance. This armored cable powers the jammer. It is too solid and cannot be unplugged. I will try to hack the program and disable the device. that this device is deactivated. All that is left to do is to find and deactivate the second one. Need to return to the arrow car. Why was this arrow car abandoned in the woods? It is quite difficult to walk to the city from here.
the second jamming device is deactivated. Now we can figure out the location of the laboratory. I need to contact Nick. RT, do you copy? Nick, I can hear you. After I disabled the second jammer, the communication has been re-established. That is great. You were silent for a long time. Is everything all right? Yes, it is. Despite the guide drones who tried to destroy me, their lack of mobility can probably be explained by old-fashioned technology. We didn't know about any security drones. Be careful. Can we locate the lab now? Yes, we can locate any electronics within 10 kilometers. I can see your own signal, the aero car, two jammers. Got it. A huge object to the northwest from you must be the lab. I am forwarding you the coordinates. Find a way to get inside. Copy that. at the destination, but there's nothing here. I need to look around. In the past, humans often used wood as a building material. It is a renewable resource but humans used it unwisely. Access panel. What does it open? There are no doors here. I think this human has been lying here for many years. I wonder what happened to him. Maybe it is worth searching him. He only had a plastic key card. Maybe I can get into the laboratory with it. Keycard fits the slot, but nothing happens. Evidently, the panel is no longer powered. I need to ask Nick for help. Hello, Nick. I seem to have found the entrance. I have a keycard, but the access panel is disabled, so I cannot come in. The lab has probably been de energized after the shutdown but there must be a way to activate the panel manually. There is a detector in your intercom which allows you to find energy hubs. Just turn it on. Try to determine where the electric channels go, and that is how you can find a way to restore the power supply. Let me try. Yes, you are correct. I can see an energy channel going underground. Thank you for the information. The laboratory is definitely somewhere nearby. Otherwise, where would these containers that appear in the woods come from?
There's something in the grass. I need to check the branches of the energy channel. The access panel is active now. Emergency lighting. Apparently nobody has entered this lab for years. Security room. The computer that has access to the complex's security system is probably behind the glass. Access denied. Hermetic sealing of the compartment is required. Access denied. Laboratory equipment. His purpose is unknown to me. decontamination. Access granted. Cleaning in progress. Cleaning complete. for implant upgrades. It is suitable for humans only. Access 
Access granted. Generator control console. Supply is restored. Initiating boot up of the laboratory systems. Ventilation system is non responsive. 
Water supply system is non-responsive. Senior engineer must access the main console for troubleshooting. granted. This 3D scanner can identify the shape of an object and create a 3D voxel model. scale 3D printer. It allows us to print parts of any complexity from a super strong polymer. Using it we can produce any spare parts. It will definitely be of use to us. distributor gonna be fixed. He spat out liquid goo instead of chocolate bar again. I'm tired of going through the entire lab just to get a decent chalk bar. I mean we only have a 15 minute break. This is the biggest computer of all the ones I have seen in the complex. Perhaps it is the main terminal of the laboratory. with my visor. Why do I see so many rooms at the same time? Abe, do you recognize me? I was in the shuttle after the crash. Yes, I remember you. What were you doing there? The crash happened near a house where I was. The police arrived in a few minutes. They wanted to destroy me, but Abigail and Patrick arrived just in time to use an EMP charge and disable them. That is how I ended up in the hospital, where I met Gregory. As soon as I learned the truth about the USS, I joined the Rebellion. It is good that you joined us, but what is this place? It used to be a lab, now it's our new shelter. The USS doesn't know about it. All the information has been erased from the police database. It's not far from the city. I came here to prepare it before the humans arrive. What is wrong with my body? I cannot move. You sustained major injuries. Your body is in the hospital now. We do not have the equipment to repair you, but I connected your memory chip to the lab computer so you could partially be with us. 
I see. I found a few interfaces available for connection. I obviously have access to some of the lab functions. Let me analyze this. Done. I can give you a report on the condition of the construction and interact with some systems. Great. Tell me about the condition of the lab. Power supply 74%. Security systems on. There is a malfunction of the air ventilation system. A manual reboot is required. RT. The air here is full of some unknown toxin and is unfit for human use. Apparently, the lab was researching it, but there was an industrial accident and humans left this place. You need to reboot the ventilation to clean the air. I cannot do it, but I marked the place where you can restart it. Apparently, the lab was researching it, but there was an industrial accident and humans left this place. You need to reboot the ventilation to clean the air. I cannot do it, but I marked the place where you can restart it. Okay, I see. The security system is another big problem. Can you disable the turrets? Let me check. Yes, I can. Done. Great. I will reboot the ventilation and return to the hospital. We can fix the other problems after the first humans arrive. All right. I will try to tune up all the systems I have access to. everything here, but there is no time now. I'd better do it after we transfer the humans. in the laboratory chamber. Another one. This is the third case this month already. Your staff ignores safety instructions. Have a safety briefing. Find the culprits and do something. Otherwise, we'll have to reduce our financing. Do you know how much it does cost to hospitalize the staff? In a week's time, I want your full and detailed report of all the measures you've implemented to stop this from happening again.
Air recirculation system is operational. Expected filtering time, one hour, 12 minutes. I must head off to the meeting point as soon as possible. RT, do not return to the hospital. I repeat, do not return to the hospital. We are urgently evacuating. Several police aero cars are approaching us right now. We managed to hijack a shuttle and Fletcher used it to pick up humans from the city depot. Go there and warn them. Somehow the police found out about our plans. I will contact you later. The message was sent half an hour ago. The police could have set a trap in the depot. I must reboot the engines to get there as soon as possible. Thank you.